So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. This is the active document and the grayed out area is the footer. So I'm going to double click into the footer. So it's now it's the active window and I'm going to select the title that starts JCL Talent Vancouver and you can either click home and click copy or control C and then to exit the footer you could go to header footer button and exit or just double click in the document and that um, gets you back into the document so it's active. Control home gets you to the beginning of page one. Press enter and then press the up arrow once and then control V to paste the title that you just copied and select it and we're going to change this to word art so click insert and this is word art and we're looking for white uh, fill white outline blue accent color 5 shadow and then we'll go into the size and it's 0.7 tab and the width is seven and a half. Enter. And then we'll go to text effects and down to transform and under warp we're going with warp up. It slightly warps it up, that's good. And then we'll click the launcher in the word styles and it opens over on the left hand side and it should be on text effects. For shadow, select preset, and we're looking for offset bottom right, then in glow, you may have to click glow, um, click presets, and we're looking for glow five point orange accent color two. And then we'll go over back to the word art styles group and the top one is text fill I'm going to click the down arrow and then we're looking for orange accent to lighter 80 percent with the word art still selected in the arranged group choose wrap text and then choose click through And then double click the picture so the picture is active. And again, in the um, click picture format, in the arrange group, wrap text and click through. And then we'll choose send backward arrow and choose send to back. And then we're going to drag the picture up so that it is within the, the um, title like the titles in the sky. So once you drag the, the picture up so that the title is in the sky, go ahead and click the send backward arrow and choose send to back. And then I'm going to go back to the home tab and put the paragraph symbol on and there's an enter that's under the picture. Just press delete so that's gone. So you can turn off the show hide if you'd like so it's not showing on your screen. And control end takes you to the end of the document. And we're going to select from job search tips all the way to the end of the document. And then we'll choose um, cut. And then we're going to scroll up to after them, um, after references, so that you're after them. Good. So you before the paragraph symbol. 
So make sure if you want to put your show height on, make sure you're after them, period, in the space, but before the paragraph symbol. And then you will click the Layout tab and Breaks, and then choose Column. So you're on a whole new column. And then you will choose Paste on the Home tab. And that paragraph that you just um, cut, the job search tips, is on the right-hand side as column two. And then we'll choose. So this text box that we just moved, we're going to select it. And we're going to put a text box around it. So click Insert, choose Text Box, and select Draw Text Box. So it puts a text box around what you just cut and then paste. And let's go into um, shape format. And the size, the height should be 6.2 tab. And the width should be 2.3. Pretty close. Enter. In the Shape Styles group, click More, and we're looking for Subtle Effect Lime Accent 1. Subtle Effect Lime Accent 1. And now we'll go to page 2, where we're looking for Find New Opportunities. Scroll down to page two and click to the left of five new find new opportunities. You can close this window pane over here, format text effects. And then you'll choose insert text box, but we're looking for a specific one. It's called Austin Quote. So select that. So with this um, Austin quote text box, go to the middle sizing handle and you want to make it roughly two inches wide. So it was a little wide. So it's still three. And we could adjust it as we go. There we go, a little closer. And we're going to move it to the right in the blank area, right about in the middle there. Just shy of two inches. Two or two, I'll leave it at that. Type the information from the textbook in this text box. And if you need to, again, with the arrows on the border, four arrows, and then adjust the picture so that it's between the utilities manager and the cloud, and in the cloud, and then click away from it. Control home takes you back to the beginning of the document. Click anywhere in that paragraph who we are. So not in the side heading, but the, the paragraph. I usually click to the left of it. And then we're going to put what's called a drop cap. Click insert. And then select drop cap. And choose dropped. And it does it for the um, first letter of that paragraph. And it drops it three lines. And you can go back to the drop cap and go into drop cap options. And instead of drop down three lines, you can change it to just two. The most you can drop is 10 lines, if you're curious. Um, this is with dropped is within the paragraph. And this one, it would appear the A would have been outside in the left margin. This is a, a cleaner um, 
drop cap. So now it's just two. It's not as large, but it's just two lines dropped. Okay, control N takes you back down to the end of the document. And we're going to click the paragraph marker just below. So if you click the smart art to see where the paragraph marker below it is, so then you can click that one. And we're going to go to that document, um, but we're going to get go to it a different way. So before, when we got that document that was called references, we opened it up, we went and opened references, and then we control A to select all of it, and then control C to copy it, and then paste it here. Well, there's another way to get um, information from another file if you know the name of it. You'll click insert, and over on the far right, you will have a button that's called um, insert object. So you click the down arrow, it's either object or text from file, and you will choose um, text from file, and then you'll go to where your document is saved, and it should be the one called Interviews. And it's a Word document, and then click Insert. So we have a couple of extra hard returns. So I'm just going to go to the last one and press Backspace so that it goes back onto that, because this is a nothing page, so we just keep doing it until it goes back onto the... Um, so it's just the two pages. And then click Control Home. It takes you to the beginning of the document. I'm going to turn my show hide uh, paragraph symbols off. And what we're going to do to make paragraphs a tighter fill, for example here, include managers or, there's empty space there. So we're trying to fill in these empty gaps by having the document hyphenated and it'll do it automatically. So you will click the Layout tab and then choose Hyphenation. and then choose hyphenation options and we'll click automatically hyphenate documents and you can um, we'll um, deselect this one because we don't want words that are in all caps um, hyphenated and then click OK and then you can see that it's filling the gaps with hyphenated their supervisor and it's hyphenated for you. Go ahead and choose view. I'm going to do control home again. Control home, view, one page. And again, this is just, um, it brought it down to 54%. Not to read, just to see the placement of the assignment. And then you'll click File, Open to where you stored your files. And we are opening Chicago. So you should have two open right now. This is a different uh, location. The other one was Vancouver. So what we want to do is see the Chicago one, the one we just opened, and the one that we're currently working on. So click View, and then choose View Side by Side, and click the, the one that you're currently working on. So you have Chicago on one side and Vancouver on the other side, so you can scroll through to see the similarities or what's different. Click in the Chicago side, the left side, to uh, make that side, um, side active, and then click side to side, and then you can see both of them in multiple pages side to side. And then we can go back to Window and choose um, View Side by Side. This is the Chicago one, and we can also click vertical to see it vertical or horizontal. These are just different ways to scroll through a document. 
or back to view and side by side on two different documents. So it's just ways to view your document. But go ahead and save and submit the Vancouver one. Thank you.